Better luck next time! Hey, Tails! It's a giant talking egg! Now yeah, probably needs some work. So yeah, this is Sonic Adventure on the PlayStation 3, also released on the Dreamcast, GameCube, Xbox 360, and PC. Oh, oh, the map! It's so ugly! It's so ugly! <laughs> yeah, but it was the early 90s. 3D games were sort of in the well, infant that? stage. So yeah, excuse Sonic's creepy mouth. Enter Chaos, the main driving point of this game. Which makes me wonder, like, hang on. It makes me wonder, like, Chaos was created for the sole purpose of the Dreamcast, and... Wow, you really think bullets are gonna do anything? Stupid police! That YGD, I got nothing over this! Bullets don't work! You see, um, Chaos was created for the sole purpose of proving the power of the Dreamcast making liquidy objects, which is confusing because Sonic Adventure was being developed on the Saturn, so that would mean they'd have to completely redo the story. Makes me wonder what it was originally like. Okay, let's get into this. Chaos Zero, this is the first boss of the game. Now, this is how you play. The control stick makes you move, obviously. The, the X or A button lets you jump, pressing it twice lets you do a homing attack, and pressing the secondary button will um, let you do a spin dash. You can charge it or just press it instantly. Now, Chaos is just a pushover. He's got like the stretchy werehog arms that will jump over, but what you gotta do is homing attack him three times and he's dead. Hey, I'll play with you some other time! Nope, nope, nope. I can't, can't do it. Needs improvement. <laughs> Where you going, you big drip? Come on, you big drip! Where you going? Oh, that was close. Solid 2D texture! Suspicious! Oh, those were the days. Like, um, in case you're not aware, the Dreamcast version had rather blocky polygons and different textures. When it was ported over to the GameCube, everything was redone. You know nothing, fool! FOOL! Chaos, the god of destruction! Oh, Eggman, I, 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 th I think you need to get your mouth checked out, because that, that, that does not look right. Ah, the familiar music of Station Square. By the way, this this area here was imported into Super Mario 64. Um, not sure who by. I, I couldn't figure out the. Huh? I didn't find out the name. Uh, I'll I'll figure it out eventually and post it. What? Tails? And if no one noticed right there, Tails actually had his Saturn model. Yeah, because in this game it fluctuates Tails. between the HD models, the Dreamcast models, and the Saturn models. In the, in the original Dreamcast version of the game, you can see the Sega Saturn models on the, um, Tornado levels. Hey, where did you come from? Yeah. Alright, time to get on. First level, Emerald Coast. The action stage. Oh, don't I just love that music. Beep, 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 beep. So this is the Hedgehog's... 3D debut. I mean, there was technically Sonic 3D Blast, um, Sonic Extreme, which was cancelled and then redone as Lost World in 2013, and there was Sonic R, but we don't like to talk about that. And um, oh yeah, most importantly, Sonic Jam, which um, wasn't an actual game, but it did feature a small hub world which had a prototype build of the game we're playing right now. 
Because like I mentioned, it was originally being developed on the Sega Saturn. Oh, this is so awesome playing this. Like, I haven't played this game in ages. Uh, I believe I got Sonic Adventure and Sonic Generations, um, the first modern Sonic games I ever played. Um, roughly around December of last year. Has it really been that long? <laughs> yeah, I have a... You may have seen a lot of Sonic-related stuff on my channel of recent, but... Trust me, I wasn't to jump on the Sonic bandwagon since last year. Take that, Game Grumps! Couldn't figure out how to get up here. Oh, God damn it! There we go. Woo! Yeah. Loop the loops. Come on. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. Oh, damn! Oh, I usually always make that. Whoops. Can I do it this time? You know what, just, just... Actually, no, 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 I'll just do it here. Woo! Jump on panel number one. It will take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or else you'll fall. Numbered panels. So... Sonic BW. Before wall, before wall jumps. <laughs> hey, is that is that Echo the Dolphins jumping around there? There you are, Tails. Yes. Yes. Yeah, not bad. Alright, first emblem. About emblems, you'll be collecting them all throughout the game. There's 120 or 150, I'm not sure. It depends on if you have the Director's Cut DLC. I'll explain about it later. I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test. It's got a few to iron out. Why not just use my plane? The tornado. Oh, seriously. <laughs> what were they thinking when they rigged these models to their mouths? Ooh. Wait for it, wait for it. Right there, Sonic's face! If you've seen my Dreamcast and PS3 comparison video, you would have seen the difference between the Dreamcast and this. And Tails legs aren't even attached to the right part of his body. Oh well. Come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've got to show you. It's from the Mystic Ruins, the fastest way is by train. Let's go! I don't need to catch no train. All I gotta do is use my supersonic feet. Oh, yeah! You know, um, there's something I wondered about. Like, um, the PS3 and Xbox 3. Oh, the all the 2011 releases of Sonic Adventure had, like, something done to the water, like, um, before, like, it had some sort of reflection effect in the GameCube that they took out because it was really buggy. I mean, have you have you seen that on Dolphin Emulator? It really screws up Emerald Coast, and before that on the Dreamcast, it was kind of... Eh. Alright, station of the station square. Headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Now, let's see... Just gotta... Whoops. Just trying to show off a secret. If I can't make this, I'll do it as Tails when I unlock him. Actually, I already did... Aha! There. Emblem. Now, emblems, you can unlock multiple ways. By doing mini-games, completing levels like we did before, completing missions and levels, blah blah blah. And, of course, you can find some in the hub worlds. Uh, 
All right, Mystic Ruins. I love this place. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic. Ah, uh, the iconic. Look, Sonic. it's a giant talking egg. Silence. I am Doctor Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. Uh, Whatever you say, Eggman. You know, fun fact. Um. He was called Dr. Robotnik in the US and other English regions, however in the original Japan releases of the old games he was always called Dr. Eggman. Like there was a discussion about Eggman's n name in Sonic Generations, however I really don't know what it was for the Japanese people, like same thing with Princess Toadstool and Princess Peach, like they changed the name for the US release, however then several years later decided to change it back to the Japanese way. Why they do this, I have absolutely no idea, but... Um... Yeah... Localiz American localization teams back then did some strange things. Have you seen the box art for the original Mega Man? If you haven't, look it up. It added some creepy stuff. Alright. Our second boss fight with Dr. Eggman's Egg Hornet. So it's, the so it's the same thing with Chaos Zero, you just... Avoid his attacks, wait for him to come close, to, and then you homing attack him three times. Full system, full power. You know, something I'm now noticing is that the way the camera moves in the battle sections... Actually, can I, can I fix that? No, I cannot. It stays the same. Yep, the, the way the camera works is similar to how it was in the battle modes of Sonic Extreme, if it had battle modes that was, because, um... There was something similar in a demo build that was found. Like, um, I wonder what's up with Sonic Extreme. Was it really necessary to cancel it? I mean, it could have been a great classic and we would have had a real Sonic game on the Saturn. And- what? No! What the heck? I never died to this boss fight. Ugh. So yeah, um, of, um, rec recently, um, across this year and a bit of last, um, leaked builds of Sonic Extreme have been appearing over the internet that people have been converting to work with Windows 7. Um, ho thankfully none of them have the fisheye lens. Oh god, what were they thinking? Fisheye lens. He's not gonna get away with this! That just sounded so wrong. So yeah, what do you guys think of Sonic Extreme? By the way, um... I personally think that's where the inspiration of Sonic Lost World came from. Hey, you can't hurt me, I'm damaged! Hey, I'll play with you some other time! Alright. So, saving, saving, saving. Like, what, what were they paying the animators of this game? Peanuts? I, I know it was the late, I know it was the late 90s, but come on. That wasn't so hard. Conker's Bad Fur Day was on the Nintendo 64 and it was more capable of this. In fact, Sonic Adventure 2, which was on the same platform as the original Sonic Adventure, had better stuff. Look at that, he's not even holding it, and you can see it's moving in time with his hand. Actually, no, they, they messed up a keyframe. That's how I feel whenever I do- whenever I make something in Blender. By the way, remember that animation I made for Sonic Adventure? That was supposed to be the startup for this thing. I'll add it in the playlist, but um, if you haven't seen it, there's a, there'll be a link in the description. So this is Eggman's major plan. Find some evil power, find a way of harnessing it, and then assume you can control it and take over the world. Eggman, you are so incompetent. Which he does, but it turns out to be an amusement park, which is then destroyed. Then he builds another one, in space, which also gets destroyed. So yeah. 
No way, Tails! Okay, so that's enough of this episode. We're up to the 14 minutes mark. 14, 15, I'm not sure. So, without any further ado, I'll see you guys next time for Sonic Adventure DX.